Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84. Now about a week ago I did a short video on my parents' um, wall-grown fig tree. This is a brown turkey and I thought that as I've done some pruning on it I'd just give a quick follow-up for people who are interested in figs just to see a little bit about um, what I've cut off and why I've cut it off and what I've left as well. Now one of the problems with growing figs in a cooler climate such as the UK uh, is you tend to rely more on the braber crops which are the first season crops um, because they've survived from the previous winter and they come earlier in the year um, rather than the main crops that you get in hotter climates whereas such as the uh, southern states in America or central states where you get much hotter summers Mediterranean and other subtropical areas so if in the case of a warm climate where you know you're going to get a main crop basically you can cut back the fig almost as hard as you want to at the beginning of the season or the end of um, the end of win the end of winter or beginning of spring because your figs will be formed on the new growth that comes uh, during the summer because they grow so much quicker in a hot climate that you um, you know the, your, your figs will develop and you'll have figs by July August September now here although we do occasionally if we have a very good summer get some main crop figs in September and early October I did have some last year you mainly have to rely on my bravers so in pruning this for my parents obviously they want to get some figs this year so you'll see that I've taken off probably two-thirds of the growth I would say but I've pruned it in such a way that I've tried to leave a fair number of branches now I'm getting closer I've left a fair number of branches that have bravers on now these are the figs that have survived the winter on the previous year's growth they've survived the winter and now they're starting to swell they're not on the new growth as you can see we're now um, second week of May and apart from a few leaves coming out this hasn't really developed any new season's growth yet so the, the main crop figs would be on shoots like this once they're two or three months down the road I can probably show you better on the ones at the back here because they're a little bit more sheltered against the wall and therefore they've started to grow a little bit sooner but all of these figs um, were formed on last year's growth you can tell because it's woody um, and they've started to swell because there's more heat against the wall you can see a lot more on this shoot here now they will give figs here probably um, sometime early in August early to mid August when they'll be ready whereas the main crop ones that will form on the new growth wouldn't be ready until late September or October so what I've done is I've gone around the plant and I've removed a lot of the branches you can see uh, basically I've thinned the plant out heavily so I can get the light into these figs and I've moved a lot of the branches that had no bravers on them at all or were crowding out the plant what I've tried to do is leave a certain percentage of figs on the plant which should give my parents some fruits mid to late summer you can see plenty of possibilities there um, it's nice and open now there's a lot of light got to it. and incidentally if you're wondering why I'm wearing these rubber gloves um, if you're not aware you need to be a little bit careful when you're pruning your figs because um, the sap particularly when the sun gets on the skin on the sap uh, and it gets on the sap it can be quite an irritant and some people come out in bad rashes I'm not too um, I'm not too allergic to fig sap but it can be a bit unpleasant as it makes your skin very itchy and turn red so the best thing to do is just to wear gardening gloves or in my case I've got some rubber gloves that I use for car cleaning but um, basically you can see where I've left I've taken out a large amount of the stems you can see there's a load there in that bucket of water because I had a couple of people asked if they could have some cuttings um, and the interesting thing is when you when you're cutting these back sometimes you see stems like this one here and you it, which hasn't shown any sign of growth or developed any uh 
developed any brabus on it and it's not immediately off obvious sometimes why a stem like that isn't growing but then when you look down the stem if we go down to the bottom where I cut it off here this here is caused by cold damage now we haven't had a particularly cold winter but even the large stems even though they're completely woody you can see this is quite green actually this didn't go fully woody probably because it was against the wall and because it hasn't lignified um, it's a lot more prone to cold damage but the top of the stem looked fine but when you look down you can see that this part has been damaged by the cold and that's why the rest of this shoot hasn't grown so you've got to cut off these stems that are not doing anything anyway because basically they're not going to recover but you'd still be able to take cuttings out of them interestingly enough if you wanted to so they are they do have a use but you've just got to cut the dead part off let's see cut the dead part off and then um, you can use these stems for sections of these stems for cuttings if you want I've got far too many fig cuttings here for my use um, I've got plants at home for sale and they're not easy to sell anyway I thought you'd be interested because um, it, it's just it's a very different process to to pruning in a warm climate where you really want to concentrate on your main crop fig so you would basically just cut as much of the tree back as you wanted to keep it to the space you need but I've had to leave a third of the growth here to make sure that my parents do get some uh, braber figs this year and it looks quite promising as long as we get some uh, decent warmth in July and August they should get a few figs and I'll have to just keep it thinned down a bit because in the next month it'll suddenly start shooting out everywhere and it does tend to stop the uh, stop the sun and warmth getting to the figs so thanks for watching that was a quick uh, quick look at my parents fig after cutting pruning and why I've left quite a lot of branches on it with um, embryo figs on much appreciate you stopping to have a look please give the video a thumbs up share it with anyone you think's interested please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already and obviously uh, click on the bell if you'd like to get updates and I will do a couple of updates on their fig plant during the summer just to see if it gets any edible figs on it I'll catch up with you on the next video Brett out for now